look good. Don't think you can beat Austin Greenwood. Heinrich, it was a, a, a long year of developing and trying to figure out how to game for you last year, and now you've got a new position coach and offensive coordinator. Like, what, what have the last couple of months since, since we got here, what have they been like? Well, it's kind of been a repeat of last year. Um, you know, coming in, new offense, uh, trying to learn that. Um, you know, I think that can work to my, to my advantage. Um, you know, I just came off a year learning an entire new system. Um, so I have kind of that process in my head, how to do it. What do you think of Whitmer, now that you had five practices? He's a super smart guy. Um, but he, uh, the way he talks about things, they're, you know, they're easy to understand. They, um, you know, it's not super complicated stuff, but um, you know, he just thumbs everything down so you can learn. He's a pretty funny guy for you guys. It seems like he's got a pretty good sense of humor. Yeah, um, you know, he's, he, he can have his moments, you know, with, as with, at least with every coach, I guess. Um, you know, he's, he seems like he can have a, he can have a sense of humor. What was it like when they probably knew that they were going to bring a transfer in maybe to this offseason? What were those conversations like? And, and I guess what do you make of the, at the five guys? Kind of yeah, uh, I think it, you know, it can only help. Um, yeah, healthy, healthy quarterback room. Is always good for a team. Uh, the competition, you know, I mean, that's also another healthy element. So I, I don't think it can do anything to hurt this. Uh, I don't think it can hurt this team. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's, you know, there's different keys. Obviously, you know, they try to keep the same terminology from last year. That way we can all kind of uh, you know, understand it and not have to relearn everything. But uh, different keys, different reads, different progressions. Uh, so that's the only different part. What are the things that you like about this version of the offense so far? It seems like there's just an answer to everything. Um, it's not... I mean, there are some elements where you start here and work your way across the field, but um, it's a lot more open, I feel like, to the quarterback to be able to see what he wants to throw um, and be able to make the pass. What's your level of comfort this spring relative to kind of last year where everything was new? You were, you know, you skipped your last semester of high school and you just kind of dropped right into it. You've been here a year now. Where's your comfort level? I mean, Lincoln feels like home. This team is, you know, my family now. Uh, I think last year that was another difficult part because on top of learning a new offense, you know, you had to get adjusted to you know, being in college, taking college courses, um, you know, living by myself. Um, so now that I'm used to that, I think, you know, everything else will just uh, be a lot easier. Was that transition harder than you expected it to be? And if so, in what ways? Yeah, um, you know, my parents, they got me they did a good job getting ready um, to come here, um, and I think uh, I, I think I was just prepared to come to college, and it just took a little acclimation. What what was that like in November? I mean, Mario Verduzco spent a lot of time recruiting me. You came here to play for him, play for for that offense. What what was that like in November when they announced those changes? Were you a little shocked by that? Were you expecting something of that level? No, I don't. I don't think anyone really saw it coming. Um, you know, it, it was a little, uh, it was a little scary at first for all of us. Uh, you know, Coach Produsco was like a father to us. Um, but you know, at this level, you just got to push through that kind of stuff um, and compete every day, no matter what the circumstances. What do you think of the receivers when you guys added? Two transfers, um, and Victor's here now too. Uh, just from what you guys added to what you already had, what's that look like? Yeah, I think you know, the wide receiver room is going to be just as good as not better than last year. Um, there's a lot of guys that were stepping up last year that um, didn't get a chance to play or uh, didn't get a lot of reps. Um, coach Joseph is an awesome coach. Um, I think everyone loves being around him. I think he's going to. He's going to really take that wide receiver into another level. What's it like being in a quarterback room with some new, some new guys, fresh faces, everybody sort of getting to know each 
yeah, it's uh, it's it's different. Um, you know, we were the quarterback room last year was really tight, especially the four guys that were here in the spring. You know, it's I think it's doubled in size since last year, which is just crazy to think about. Um, I love being around all these guys. You know, they're all super good guys and have their own talents, um, but they all want to learn and get better. Has Casey been kind of a leader, even though he's new? Did you see him try to take on more leadership in the new as well as back in Yeah, I mean, he has, he has a lot of experience um, at a high level. Um, and so he, I think that translated very well here. Um, I don't, I don't think, um, I, I think he just, he, he brought a, the experience that we kind of needed. Uh, Logan, you talked about how tight that group was last year. So Logan was talking about himself and that he feels like he's a pretty strong leader too. What can you offer about him and maybe his growth in that room going into this spring? Yeah, uh, I think, I think the quarterback room is a little different. Um, I think we're all leaders. Um, that's just what the position comes with. So I think each one of us has a role to play in that leadership of the team. And uh, you know, Logan, Logan is you know, he's, he's very mature. Uh, he understands what the position comes with uh, in terms of leadership. What would be, when you say each of you have a different role within leadership, what would you say yours is? I like, uh, you know, some guys are vocal. Um, you know, get on, get on different guys when they mess up. Um, but I like to, I don't like to do that a lot. Um, you know, if anything, I want, I want guys to see um, just how hard I work. And, uh, you know, hopefully, I, I like to compete. So I try to get them to compete, you know, especially like um, I'm really close with Gabe and Thomas. Um, so especially, you know, those two, we're always competing. Always trying to take each other to another level during conditioning and weightlifting. Yeah, you spent a lot of time around Thomas, as you just mentioned. It was a big spring for him. What type of growth have you seen from him coming into the spring? I think um, I think the injury gave him a lot of maturity. Um, I think it gave him time to think about and learn. Uh, last year, you know, I, I don't know. Um, how ready he really was at the end of that season to go in versus some of those teams. Um, but man, he, he's looking good now. Um, I think he's going to be a big part of this team moving forward. And I'm excited for him.